Oklahoma biker. We're here at the Blue Rose with a young lady that is a performer named Glitter Rose. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. Now, how are y'all doing? Glitter Rose. Tell me how you got that name. <laughs> well, actually, my dad called me Glitter when I was a kid, and it kind of stuck, and now it's my name. <laughs> Are you related to Blue Rose, where we're at now? <laughs> I'm not, although I feel right at home. Um, it's really cool to find this venue here in Tulsa. This is my first time in Tulsa, Oklahoma, performing, and I'm very excited. Everyone's so welcoming and great hospitality, so I'm really excited to perform here tonight. It's a great, cool place. We're glad to have you in Tulsa. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what type of music that you do? Sure. Well, I write Southern rock music. So there's a little bit of country influence, there's a little bit of rock influence, some blues in there. Um, but yeah, just good old southern rock and roll. I'm inspired by the Rolling Stones and there's a little Stevie Ray Vaughan sound to it, maybe a little ZZ Top in there. So that's kind of the style that I do. And a guitarist and I've been songwriting since I was 12, so. Terrific. She's been doing this for two years now. Um, <laughs> Actually, I think of Southern Rock, I'm thinking of the Almond Brothers, and she looks nothing like Greg, does she? Yeah, there's a little bit of that in there, too. Some of my more acoustic stuff has kind of an Almond Brothers feel, and yeah, so and also a little Crosby, Stills, and Nash on some of my acoustic stuff, too. So I'm glad you didn't t say anything about Young, because Southern Man don't need him around anyhow, right? <laughs> don't they say that somewhere? Somewhere, I think so. <laughs> So Glitter, tell us, um, what brought you to Tulsa? I mean, I think it was uh, the Pain Foundation, so can you tell us a little bit about how you're um, connected to the Pain Foundation? Definitely. Yeah, I was uh, brought out here specifically for the Pain Foundation because I am a supporter of Pain. I my song "Sad Day for Love" was a bit of an inspiration to the foundation. Uh, it's on my new album "Dead or Alive," and that song's actually up for Song of the Year at the Unmask the Pain with Movies and Music event that's going on at the Bare Bones International Film Festival in Muskogee, uh, the April 4th through the 14th. So on April 12th, I'm going to be performing for Payne at the Muskogee Music Hall of Fame. And uh, Sad Day for Love's up for Song of the Year, so I'm really excited about that. Well, that is something to be excited about. Now tell me what a pain supporter is. <laughs> I know, it sounds a little odd, right? It actually is the opposite of what it sounds like. Pain stands for prevention and awareness in neighborhoods, and it's against domestic violence and child abuse. So uh, Patty McCall is the founder, and it was inspired by her book, Unmasking the Pain Within, which is her life story of, of domestic violence and being mentally and physically abused and her fight to overcome and uh, conquer that situation. So now she's bringing awareness uh, to people around the country about it, and I think it's great. It is great. Story. This is her life story, and uh, it's a great book, and she's just doing great things for women and children, and men too. Men get abused also, so um, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful thing, and we are glad to be a part of that also. Um, anyways, we're excited to have you here. Thank you. Now, do you know about Bikers Against Child Abuse going to be there and be a part of this? Are you familiar with Bikers Against Child Abuse? I am, and I love, again, I love that organization. I have for a long time, especially in Texas. I would do fundraisers sometimes with, with them involved and, and other organizations of that matter with the radio stations and things. So I'm, I'm for any, any organization that's going to bring awareness and, and is against any kind of violence like that against women or children. And so I'm excited. Yeah, I've, are they going to be there at the event? Yes. Rumor, rumor has it. Hey, Big John, you're the state president. Make sure you get a bunch of folks there, all right? That's right. 
Hey, I want to pre. I want you ladies to know I really appreciate you allowing me to sit in the middle here and be the microphone mover. Um, well, you're a good microphone mover. That's right. MM. That's motorcycle ministry, I think. MM. Here, don't be calling me no club. Folks, we're going to wind this interview up. I tell you what, I'm sure appreciate you being on uh, Oklahoma Biker. Thank you very much, Glitter Rose. We're really happy to have you in Tulsa. We look forward to seeing you on the 12th in Muskogee, Oklahoma, at the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. We'll be there. We look forward to seeing you there.